Hey there, game developers. It's me, Titan Hex. I'm back again, this time with a tutorial on tile sets in the database. It's pretty easy, pretty simple. We're probably going to get through this one real quick, just like we did with states. The idea here is that tile sets are basically what make up this whole mapping portion. If you don't know mapping yet, make sure you go back and uh, take the mapping tutorial. But for now, these here are, are, are pretty much what we're looking at. It's pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, we're going to go ahead and jump in and look at one of the more complete ones in this, which would be, let's see, dungeon, I believe. Yeah, no, not dungeon there outside has probably the most information here that we can use so we're gonna go ahead and check out uh, some of the options here obviously if we need to add more tile sets we change the maximum it does take it's a, it's a little bit tedious to work on tile sets so just be aware of that and you can download and buy a whole bunch of them let's go ahead and take a look at the outside tile set so first you can name it then you have the mode there's two different ones the world type and the area type you usually just want to use world type for your world maps uh, the way it's set out and some of the layouts over in this area are a little different so keep that in mind it's a little bit more compact things here are, are treated a little differently uh, otherwise if you have your your general uh, just a general map these work right here so you'd have to go check out the uh, resource specification page in the help which is your f1 and you can check out awesome information there a lot of programming information stuff like that very useful for now we aren't going to worry about it we're going to go ahead and uh, check out images so the next part is setting up the pictures that you'll be using for tile sets. A typical tile set is 48 by 48. There's no real way around that. That's just how the engine is built. The trick here is that um, you have A1 through A5, which constitutes this A set, and it's split into different ones. The animation, which are basically your waters or your lava, anything with an animation you put in that A1 category. A2, we're gonna actually, real quick, let's take a look at A1. So as you can see, these ones are broken down into frames and that's how the animation happens. It goes in sequence, great for water, great for lava, anything that really has motion to it. You can even throw in non-lava ones, non-water ones, should all work. Next, we're gonna look into the ground. <laughs> so we got the ground tile sets are basically what sets up the whole area that the the places you can walk things like that that's all set here this is your ground tiles and then there's little things that you can add to make the tile a little bit more fanciful this here is a border and this border is good for making uh something look more like this so you could have a sort of metallic edging around one of these you just have to play with this a little bit. Same with this, snow covered tiles. Um, these are holes, you can put holes in different parts of the ground. It's a nice little addition you can add. These are a more brick and city type of hole, whereas this would be a more natural. Then you have your fences here. And lastly, just overlays to put on top. This is a moss, grass, dirt, uh, some cracks. Stuff like that. So, so those are sort of what you'll look at for the ground tile sets. Next is the A3. A3 is your buildings. They are able to be stretched to whatever dimensions you need. And those, um, the, the, the dimensions follow, and that's very different from the A4 where, or no, A4, A5. The one, these ones, the dimensions stretch a little differently than the A3s, so keep that in mind. You might have a different setup than you, you desire using A4 or A3. So I believe these two are mainly cliffs and walls and uh, your basic buildings. So you see walls, buildings, stuff like that. Very useful. You can mix and match them, I usually do. Next we have the normal, which is basically your whatever you want to add that's one tile. 
a lot of like ground special ground tiles these are nice little tiles that that change up the ground tile a little bit um nice variations to to make your ground not look like just all the same thing you can add a whole bunch of cliff stuff and a whole bunch of other neat things bridges everything can be put here finally you have b c d and e all do the same thing they are used for a lot of decoration and they can be stacked on top of each other two at a time so keep that in mind you can get some cool stuff out of that one now with that out of the way we're going to go ahead and jump over here to the right and check out some of these your passage is pretty simple uh, you just click once to change it from an O, which is you can move on top of it and walk all over it, to X, which is, or yeah, X, which is you can't move uh, on it at all. And your general A tiles minus the A5 ones and the, I believe the, hold on, let me do, double check. Yeah, all your A tiles can only have one passage type. So every time you click, it'll switch from zero to X. Your B ones will actually be able to have a star. So the star means that if you walk into that tile, it'll appear above you and you can walk underneath it. So basically it's a nice one to put underneath. So it looks like you can walk behind the trees, give some sort of depth to the map. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Ignore that. Uh, so keep that in mind and D, E, B, all of those just basically work like that. So your passage is pretty simple. Your passage for four directions is a nice little setting where you can choose where you can walk. Um, if I don't want, if I only want to be able to pass through a tile up and down, I can use any of these to make it, ugh, to make it so that uh, I can't walk to the left see there's no no real good examples you'll probably find something better for this in a let's see these these huh, maybe not so anyways uh it's very simple self-explanatory just tells you which direction you can walk on when you're in that tile and which direction you can enter from so the next one is the ladder tile as you can see we have ladders here it means when you start whenever you enter onto this tile it'll make you face up and stay up as long as you're on one of these tiles sort of direction fix thing and it's a really nice little addition that allows you to climb um, the ladders without having to set up an event to do it then we have our bush one bushes usually are used more in a and it makes it so that if you walk on top of the area your feet will sort of become more transparent making it look like you're walking in like tall grass or something like that then you have your counter counters are used for shopkeepers or npcs whenever you have some sort of counter you can talk across the counter so if i was here the npcs over here i can hit enter and it'll act as though the we are talking directly to the shopkeeper. Nice little addition there, easy to use, keep that in mind. Next we go into damage floor. So I can set up these little spikes and that means that when I walk on top of the floor, you take damage, which is really good for things like lava tiles like this or maybe this one. You can just set some of these however you feel. You can make this a lava tile that you burn when you walk on stuff like that I can do using these I can also make it so that swamp uh, if you're walking in a swamp you take damage Let's see inside dungeon I believe outside if I remember correctly so something like this one oh they already had it set right here so if you ever walk on this swampy area you're gonna take damage sort of a neat little thing now terrain tags those are just usually used in notes and plugin manager uh, but you can set a one two nine or one two zero one seven was zero to seven zero to seven um zero to seven number 
and then you can use terrain tags in plugins to designate special terrain things. Keep that in mind, you can uh, have some pretty cool stuff. It could be used for different special damage floors or, or um, I believe some people use them for platforming. Uh, other times you can use them for battle backs. Neat little things like that we can do with the terrain tag. And that kind of sums it up. That That's our tile set in a nutshell. So next we will be doing animations or uh, systems and types and terms. Get ready for those tutorials. As always, like, comment, tell me everything you're doing. Let me know if I can help you. Just any way I can support you and any way anybody else can help you. Uh, just or, or a cool tutorial you, you would like to see in the future. Let me know. And as always, subscribe. Thank you. I will see you in the next tutorial. <music>